The political scandal in the United States that erupted late last year has taken an unexpected turn. A criminal case was opened against Donald Trump. And this time the storming of the Capitol was innocent. The politician is accused, paradoxically, of an attempt to rig the elections. The Fulton County Prosecutor's Office, Georgia has opened a criminal case against Donald Trump, suspecting him of trying to rig the election results in Georgia. This is all about the same Trump phone call to Republican Brad Raffensperger, during which the president asked for evidence of fraud by Democrats in Georgia. Raffensperger in turn assured Trump that there were no election violations, but the president did not believe the Republican. According to media reports, Trump literally intimidated his interlocutor with criminal prosecution if he did not find evidence. Fulton's prosecutors interpret this as incitement to rigging elections. If proven guilty, Trump could face up to three years in prison. He may also be accused of interfering with the activities of those in charge of the elections. Fulton's prosecutor Fannie Willis has already asked Raffensperger to keep the documents confirming Trump's call. Here are excerpts from that famous call. We won this election in Georgia and there is nothing wrong with saying that Brad. And the people of Georgia are angry, the people of the country are angry. There are absentee ballots, exact numbers that have been made by accounting firms, law firms and so on. And even if you divide them in half, divide the remainder in half and divide them in half again, there will be more votes than we need. Well, Mr. President, the problem is that you have incorrect data. We talked to the congressmen and they were surprised. There was a man named Mr. Brainerd who came to these meetings and presented the data. And he said that there were dead people, there were more than of them. In fact, there were two of them. Two. Two dead people voted. So this is wrong. There were only two people. Because you know what they did and do not report it. This, you know, this is a crime. This is a criminal offense. You cannot allow this. Mr. President, you have people who provide information and we have people who provide information. And then it comes to court. And then the court has to make a decision. We must stand for our numbers. We believe our numbers are correct. Well, by law, you're not allowed to give false election results, okay? You cannot do this, it is a wrong election result. You know, the people of Georgia know this was a scam. And Brad, we just want the truth, it's simple. It is curious that Trump in conversation refers to the data of accounting firms and Raffensperger to conversations with congressmen. The investigation comes as President Trump faces a second impeachment trial in Washington this week allegedly for his role in fomenting the actions of the gang that attacked the Capitol on January 6. Jason Miller, Trump's senior advisor, said Wednesday in a statement that the timing here is not accidental, given two days' impeachment trial. This is simply the latest attempt by Democrats to score political points by continuing their witch hunt against President Trump, and everyone sees right through it. Just because they started an investigation does not mean District Attorney Willis is going to submit it to a grand jury, said Joshua Morrison, a former senior assistant district attorney for Fulton County who once worked closely with Ms. Willis. Look at the impeachment process, he added. Democrats are going to give up against Trump everything they have, 